Anthony, uh, disappointment there, four three defeat after such a good first half. Yeah, absolutely gutted. It's the only word I can use. You know, it's lads are absolutely deflated in the dressing room, as you can understand. Um, such a good first half and game was comfortable and we said at half time like, you know, keep them quiet for the first five, ten minutes and timing of their first goal was absolutely horrific. Absolute backs to the wall then, you know, their tails are up, fans are up. Like I said, timing of it was absolutely terrible and then they score another one two two and you think Right, keep it tight and you know, if a draw is not the worst result in the world but we're absolutely cut it. We didn't win the game after going two goals up. And then to score and make a three three and concede in the last minute, you know, it's I don't know, so soft. I spoke to Stephen Robinson, obviously he wasn't happy with the second half performance. What what did go wrong after such a good first half? Like I said, timing of the goals I reckon just happens. You see it all the time in football, you know, when if if a goal goes in just before half time or just after half time, it's horrible, horrible time to lose a goal. But us as a as a whole team, we need to be better. To couldn't see the goal, we need to be so much better after it to not concede again. And like I said, just soft. And it's it's a horrible term to be to be directed towards you. And football is soft, and that's what we were today. And we can't feel sorry for ourselves now. It's we're absolutely gutted. There's not make no bones about it. Absolutely distraught in the dressing room and. You know, all I can do is, is apologise you know, on, on behalf of the lads and apologise to the fans because they came down again and, and supported us all the way and clapped us off the pitch even at the end. So um, we, need to, we need to put things right. The big one of a big few begins since the third goal straight from a corner. Mm. Carl Leatherin claims that he was fouled for that and maybe a foul in the second one that leads with the second goal as well. How did you see the third goal? Yeah, it was you know we know that's what he tries to do. He tries to whip it right underneath the crossbar. He, he scored from corners before, and you know they tried to make it hard for the keeper to come and get you know a clean contact on it or a punch on it. And Kyle says he was fouled. I don't I don't know. I can't really comment because I was too busy trying to you know trying to stop my man from scoring. And but Kyle is, seems seems to think in addressing him that he was he was definitely fouled. But referees rarely you know in this division anyway rarely give you give you those ones. So. Like I said, then it's it's three two and we nick a goal back with Jonah mm -hmm. scores a great goal, and we think, come on, hold out, just take the draw. You know, it's, you know, all right, we've lost the lead, but we'll take a point. It's not the worst result in the world. It's a difficult place to come, and to lose that goal in the last minute, absolutely sickened again, soft. Those injury time goals, they're killing you, aren't they? That's about I'd say five or six points have cost you already this year. Yeah, like you said, you just said it there. It's it's absolutely killed us. We could be so much. So much more comfortable, you know, higher up and it could be nearly in the playoff positions with the points that we've lost. But, you know, it's it's all ifs and buts, ain't it? Uh, we've just got to make sure that we're so much better. And again, we said in the dressing room there, I said, we look we look soft. We, we look soft there. In the first half, we, and we were total opposite, first half, we looked so so hard to beat and so solid. And like I said, the timing, timing of the goals don't help because, like I said, it just gives them a leg up. And we said it in the dressing room. Don't give them anything, any encouragement, and that's exactly what we did. We need to learn to be so much better in them circumstances. But it's a young, it's a young group in our dressing room. Now. There's only, you know, the likes of myself and Tombs and Scotty, whatever. There's, you know, there's a good, there's good heads in there with experience. But there's a lot of young boys as well, and they will learn from that. You know, it's, you can use it now as a positive as well to make sure it doesn't happen again. Every game is a thriller, but I guess you would like a couple of boring one 0 two 0 wins. Yeah, exactly. The goals, the goals are there for us, and. You know, we've we've kept a few clean sheets as well, but there's there's been too many games where we've let too many soft goals in, and you know we, us as a whole team, we have to take that as as a as a collective that we need to be so much better and so much solid, and we actually pride ourselves on that, especially in training. You know, we always say, you know, we we're gonna press them and we're gonna set it up, we're gonna be hard to beat. You know, they're not gonna play through us, and uh, we knew what they were gonna do today. We knew they were gonna be direct. You know, no no disrespect to them, they're good at it. They play percentages, and you know they got a few big lads themselves. And they played percentages first half didn't go well for them because we, we dominated and they didn't have really any chances and we scored two good goals second half was total opposite like i said timing of the first goal was you just think here we go you know same thing happened that crew we conceded first five ten minutes of the second half but obviously we went on to win that game and get third goal but when you concede goals like that you know you're you're asking for trouble <laughs>